Now that you have a Prezi login, you can make a Prezi. This should be the next day, but let's say it's not. You can log out and start from scratch. This is where I'm starting. Log in. Type in the email you typed in and the password. And if everything goes as planned, hit log in. And you should start from this screen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mine has more because I made more. But you're going to click create a new Prezi. Then this fantastic little box pops up and it lets you choose how you want yours to look, basically. Be patient. There we go. So don't think that you are stuck with only these choices. You can click more or you could search for some, but I'm not sure how you'd want to search. Um, let's, I'm doing the main essay. So I searched travel and I got all these choices for travel. Um, hmm. I like this one. So I'm gonna click on that and click start, or rather use template. And then be patient as it loads. Cool, that's really neat. So you see how it has these blue boxes that are still giving you kind of a tutorial of how to use this. The top is your title, so I'm gonna click on it and type in main. And then this is your path over here on the left-hand side. It shows you the order that the person who views your presentation will see the slides. It's like PowerPoint, just slightly different. So let's click on two. And this will be something like your first body paragraph. So I'm gonna bring up my first body paragraph. I'm not going to have the intro. I can choose to add it later if I want to. Um, so I'm going to copy and paste the whole thing, but I might need to take some parts out. So right click copy and then right click paste and see how it takes up way too much room. I can choose to edit it and take out some content or I could highlight it and I could make the font smaller, like that. I clicked the small font button right there. And now see if I click here, I can make this box longer so that maybe I could fit um, a picture later. Today, don't worry about that, just get your text in and then later we can worry about pictures. So I wanna show you when I clicked outside the box and then clicked on the box, I got these controls. If you click on this hand control and drag, you can drag your text over. If you want a title, you can have a title. If not, I believe you can cut that out. <laughs> Even if you didn't have one though, um, those words would not show up when you do the presentation. If you ever wanna see what your presentation looks like, click present at the top and then you get to see what the whole show looks like. Like that. And you keep clicking on the screen to go next, next, next. Let's go down here. There we go. So I want to move this text up a bit because it doesn't look good stuck there. Up, 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 up. And then I can even drag it out a little bit longer so it fills in the box. And then tomorrow when I work on this, I'll add pictures and stuff. I'm nearly sure you can get rid of this guy, but I've got myself stuck. Either way, he doesn't show up in the final presentation. So now number three is the next body paragraph. So let's borrow that. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Highlight it. Copy. And paste. It's gigantic, we don't want that make the font a little smaller and then remember we can stretch it out longer click outside the box click on the box and I've got this hand tool so I can bring this guy up here let's try to get rid of this guy maybe right click nope other way Click on you, scoot you up. Now click and drag this. So I have all this space down here for a 
a picture if I want to tomorrow. Now the last one will be the last body paragraph. So come back to my essay, highlight, copy, and then paste. There you go. So I had to right click and then cut that title out. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna click and drag you up, up, up to the right corner or left corner. We're gonna edit text and make you smaller. So you don't need to be that large. Click and drag this box a little bit wider. So it's really similar to PowerPoint. It's just slight variations. We have another slide right here. You can choose to put your conclusion paragraph there. Or maybe you want to put a collection of photos here. You have another little circle conclusion. This might be where you want your conclusion since it's already so wonderfully labeled. So let me do that. Copy and paste. You choose which paragraphs you want to put in here. Please at least put all three body paragraphs. So I pasted it. I'm going to click outside the box, click on the box so I can drag you up and then edit text. And I want to stretch this out a bit so it looks nice and maybe a little bit smaller. There we go. And I can still add a picture. So if you leave, if you X out of this, it's fine because it saves it under your account. So all you need to do today is put your text in, that's it. If you wanna watch it, remember, you can click the present button at the top. It goes into present mode, click the little arrows at the bottom, and it shows how good you've done. So see, this is why you wanna keep checking because I don't like how this is touching this side. I'm going to scoot it over and maybe scoot it down a little bit to make it not do that. Click next. This one's a lot better. Next. That one's not that great, I can fix that one. And then I wanna add pictures here. And then there's the conclusion. Okay, and if you press next, it shows you the whole presentation. I can edit this main title and make it larger. I can add pictures in the middle here. So um, Prezi has a lot of functions in here that I'll show you tomorrow. Alrighty.